that. Ah, I don't have rules. <laughs> I set my own rules sometimes. Um, for example, here I want to add extra lines. Um, and uh, I think it will it will look much better after and again I bevel I cut and bevel and then I bevel and cut um, okay let's carry on with the background Not really um, pro pro in what I'm doing, but I hope I will be. I will be there in one day, and uh, I hope I have what it takes. <laughs> um, here I'm doing simple steps, which um, are quite understandable for most of the um, level workers, and uh, they want to find the uh, first parts of my video int very interesting. Of oh, they won't find anything new, probably, but uh, I don't know. That's a way to do it. Okay, here it is. Um, I added uh, this additional cuts. I think it will bring up some shadowing. Okay, uh, another thing uh, when you do your sketch, um, you need to look at your sketch um, in three dimension and uh, you need to um, think about what will be your background, what will be your lifting part and what um, you're going to keep as between what is lifted and um, your background. So on your sketch you can even shadow and um, <laughs> um, and mark for yourself so when you work along the your your beveling you know what you you're doing or which part you're following so in my work i will use now my modeling spoon and i will shadow these places i want to shadow them i want to bring them a little bit down uh, why i don't know i want i think it will look good um okay. I will also now um uh, do it on a stem stem leaf, I don't know. My pattern is a bit surreal. And uh, I will try to to smooth all um, everything what was marked by swivel knife or beveler so your work will more neat your work will look more neat okay um, modeling tool is quite good thing you can you can practically draw with it okay so next step is um, undercut tool and uh, I'm going to use this undercut tool so I'm going to start with the big petals with big pet petals I'll do this 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 and this okay so what I'm doing I'm putting this one into here you don't need to be scared of a um, lever you will just uh, learn how to it comes with a practice you will learn when to stop hammering and which way to hammer 
far. I don't know if you see it. This is the undercut. This is how it looks. And if you see, it not only undercut, it also puts um, puts your work uh, background a little bit down and bring up your petal. But it doesn't bring up your petal much. It's mostly creating a vision that it's bring up with. Um, as a matter of fact, it's just you putting down the the background. Let's carry on with our petals. Um, regarding the moist of your lever, uh, you need to to be sure your lever is not over dry. Otherwise, you will just rip your your work on pieces. Don't over moist. It's also the feeling of a white moisture also comes with um, with the practice. As you can see, I'm not very careful simply because I know my my hands and I have a feeling of a toes it came with a practice too so I'm not scared to hammer okay uh, here it is um, now I'm taking um, an undercut tool which is um, craft tool there it is silly me just in case all right let's do it with a craft tool with a craft tool undercut later now I'm using this thing you need to check if your leather is uh, moist enough before you're using this because it will shift your petals further and uh, for example I here feel like it's need a little bit more moist so what I'm doing I'm putting inside as you can see and I will hammer as you can see, it uh, went inside. Oh, this 